If you run a WordPress website, you know that security is very important and can sometimes be tough to do. My name is Peter Krzyżak, and I'm going to take you through the WordPress security essentials and the best practices you need to really follow. If you're looking to know how to set up the plugins I'm going to talk about today, well, I'm saving that for the next video so I can focus on the essentials and how to get going here. So let's get started. Your WordPress website is only as secure as you make it. And the biggest mistake that most people make is not getting good passwords in there. And you might be thinking, well, I don't want to remember a 20 million character long password. Well, you don't have to. What you should do though, is get a subscription or even the free version, a service called LastPass. The primary function of LastPass is to secure your passwords and make you only have to remember one master password and it can then generate really complicated, really tough to hack, complex passwords. The premium version is only $12 a year, so it's really worth it, and that gives you the ability to uh, two-factor authentication, put on your mobile phone, and a whole bunch of extra stuff. So it really is worth it. To show you what I mean, here's LastPass in action. I just click on LastPass, uh, by the way, I'm using Chrome here. So I click on the LastPass button, and generate a secure password, and this is what it's given me. The best part is I can configure how long I want it, really, really long, or kind of sort of shorter, to pick what you want. I generally pick 32. And what kind of characters do you want, and fun stuff like that, and you can just generate, and then use it on any website. You can copy and paste it, you can have it put it in the website automatically for you, and you'll never have to remember this password because it can fill it in for you. And if it can't fill it in for you, you can search the passwords that you have in the website, you can see the active ones you have here and already saved and all those fun things. So seriously, go use it because it's gonna make your security much better just by using a lot better passwords. There's a whole slew of plugins that you can use to help secure your WordPress website. To get the basics going, the ones I recommend are WordFence, iTheme Security, Scurry, or if you really wanna get advanced and really wanna play around with it, Bulletproof Security, because this one's Kind of crazy. Some extra fun stuff to help, more or less, are the all-in-one WordPress security and firewall, brute protection, Google Authenticator, anti-spam, and anti-malware, and brute force security. I'll talk about Cloudflare first because it's kind of the odd one out. Yes, you can have a plugin in WordPress for that, but what Cloudflare really is is a service that encompasses your website to help We'll use cloud services to kind of cushion any attacks or issues that might happen, monitor your site and things like that. Um, I haven't really seen any performance benefits yet of using Cloudflare, um, but it does have some decent, decent DDoS monitoring and some basic live tools that you can use. So it is kind of useful in that case. Um, it's free to use in the beginning, so I do recommend using it just in case because uh, it can be useful. Some people say it's really great, some not, so um, your mileage may vary. Before you actually go installing any of these security plugins, know that you don't want to use all of them in conjunction together, because some of them do have conflicts, and if one finds something wrong, it might store to write a log that the other might see as a potential threat. So don't use them all at once. Though, if you want just some basic stuff going, that'll really help. Three of the ones I recommend getting started with are WordFence, iTheme Security, and Scurry Security. Install those three. They don't really conflict with each other. They might, some people have reported, mostly they work rather well together. And they're kind of the buffer. They're the first frontline shields to harden your site and get things really tough and secure. So install those and go through their processes. Some of them are a little bit automated, which is great. And well, just install them and it'll guide you through making your website secure-ish. The four most similar plugins here are Sukuri, Bulletproof, iThemes, and WordFence. They kind of sort of do the same things all in their own little different ways. I usually use a conjunction of uh, two or three of the four, uh, never all four. And if it, I do get some problems, I just kind of start uninstalling one by one and see what's causing the issues. Uh, but generally, a small combination of one of these four would be a great way to start. Now, if you really want to get advanced, like I said, Bulletproof security is a great way to go, but it does require a whole bunch of manual from work from you, but that's also kind of why it's the most powerful. They do have a pro version, which you can pay for, and so do 
so does iThemes, Sucuri, and WordFence. But I found Bulletproof Security to kind of be the most advanced one and generally the most uh, strong one. So if you really want to get things going, do combinations of server stuff and Bulletproof Security to really get things going. All-in-one WordPress security and firewall more or less does the same thing. I haven't used it as much, but people have said really good things about it, so you might want to try it out just in case. The other plugins don't do security as much as kind of do their own little niche thing. Boot Protect, for example, is, yes, it's part of the security suite, but it's really just for protecting your website from DDoS and brute force attacks. So it's really great to get this on, especially because it's free. The Google Authenticator, this one is an advanced tool. Well, it's simple to use, but kind of a more advanced step because what it does is it adds two-factor authentication to your website, which means, yes, you'll have to log in with a username and password, but then, just like you can use Google, the Google two-factor authentication in Gmail or Google Apps, same thing here. You can use an, your own one-time uh, login code to log into your website in conjunction with your username and password. So that really, really helps strengthen your login issues and security stuff. That's really, really great. Anti-spam is, kind of as the name says, mostly for protecting from spam type tools and bots and things like that. So this one isn't an all encompassing security tool. It's again, a niche thing, kind of sort of from protecting you from evil annoying spam. Anti-malware and brute force security. This one I've used to great success, not as a frontline tool, but more of a, oh crap, something bad has happened. We need to fix this because this is a really, really powerful tool, which is really resource intensive once you're on the scanning tools it has, but it really goes through every single little thing telling you, hey, this might be wrong, this for sure is bad, and this other stuff you can mostly ignore. So this one's a really powerful tool for scanning your website once in a while, or if something already has happened, for going through every single file in very extreme detail. As you may have noticed, I haven't talked about Manage WP at all yet. Well, that's because this there's no free version of this for one thing, but it's also a paid service month by month, and the price depends on how many websites you add and what level of service you have. And while it isn't directly security related, it does have security tools, live monitoring, automated backups, automation of updates, and those kinds of things. So I've added to all of my websites to help me manage everything, especially the security, SEO, and plugin updates, cleaning, spam cleaning, uh, kind of removing overhead and a lot of performance enhancements. That's what the one I use. But this isn't the only plugin that does things like that. There's also uh, Infinite WP. I've used that one. I haven't had that great results with that one. It was always kind of gave me weird things and didn't always work. So I switched to Manage WP and I love it. But there's also Backup Buddy. And if you just type in Manage WP versus or Backup Buddy versus, you'll find a lot of alternatives to software like this. Um, pick one, doesn't matter which one it is, but all of them help, especially with backups and live management and seeing if you can automate some stuff. They're all really great for that. Just pick one, I use Manage WP. So just pick one and go with it, even if it has a little bit of a cost like this. Trust me, it's worth it. It'll save you so much trouble and headache. If you'd like a copy of this list, I've been putting a link in the description below, so you can just click on it, download it there, no worries. If you have any comments, questions, or plugins, extensions, or services even, you'd like to add or get me to add to this list and let everybody know, you know, post it in the comments, send me a message, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching this video. And if you really enjoyed it, leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna put out a lot more videos like this. And the next video specifically related to this one is how to configure all those plugins, which ones work well together, and settings for all of them to make it work really, really well. So we're actually gonna get into examples and the how-to of all of this. So click subscribe, let me know what you thought. If you have any comments or questions, of course, leave them in the comments. And see you in the next video.